Hey, this short video is to show you how you can build and load your uh, user-defined real gas model. So basically, you need to go under user-defined tab in Fluent, press functions, compiled. You need to name the library that's going to be generated. So for example, let's start with uh, one species user-defined real gas model. So there's only one material, for example. And uh, let us call it, I don't know, uh, user defined yeah one or yeah user defined one species just like that um next we need to add this and uh, you need to go to your folder where uh, your user defined uh, function contains the c file so let's say I'm going to load this guy, which is here. So once you press build and then OK, you will see that a file will be generated and it's named by the naming that you gave. So now you can see, you can read here if there's anything, any errors. Now warnings are most probably OK at least for this case but errors should be looked after so uh, now after that you press load but again it's actually still not loaded and this is where you need to type in the following in your TUI so this guy define user defined real gas model user defined real gas model then you press Yes, and you need to type in the name of the generated uh, file that you saw it previously. So we called it UD1S, and that's it actually. As you can see, our user defined real gas model is loaded. Now, for multiple species, what would be the difference is. Uh, so let's just try to load another. I will delete this one. Um, let's go to something that contains multiple species. So, so I have a, another user-defined real gas model containing multiple species and let's call it multiple species. Yeah. So again, build. can check for any potential error here which we don't have then load but this time you need to type something else in the 2v for multiple species user defined real gas model and this is this guy defined user defined real gas models user defined multi species real gas model yes and uh, we called it uh, so let me check that again. So we call it multiple species, multiple S. And then we're loading our multiple species user defined real gas model. So as you can see, the whole species are loaded. Now for those who doesn't know what is a user-defined real gas model, so basically in such a user-defined function, you need to define all your physical properties except for mass diffusivity and thermal diffusion coefficient. Now if you go to your mixture, in my case we have a multiple species user-defined function. So you would find, for example, this is what is loaded real gas mixture and if you double click on that you would see this as you can see you can't change anything again because everything is defined in your code except for mass diffusivity you can choose kinetic theory for example and the thermal diffusion coefficient now uh, for actually for thermal conductivity and viscosity this is just an example in my case I use kinetic theory law too like these guys 
and uh, you might wonder okay uh, did i define the energy parameter and the characteristic lengths which are typical parameter for kinetic theory and the answer yes it's defined in my code now you the second question might come okay are these parameters also used by the mass diffusivity and the thermal diffusion coefficient and the answer is no you need to define the if you choose kinetic theory for the last two thermophysical properties you need to define the energy parameter and the characteristic length parameter of every species here actually so I hope this clears out this is I know something very specific but it might clear out some issues in the future. So worth mentioning.